people of the internet, my name is Johnny and welcome to my Five Nights at Freddy's Hope Wanted 2 Achievements Guide. There's a whopping 37 achievements in the latest installment in the FNAF game franchise, 36 if you're playing on Steam, which beats the previous record of most achievements in a FNAF game previously set by Security Breach with 29. There's going to be timestamps on the video in case you need to skip around and find just one specific achievement that you're missing. Also, if you're a viewing plusher, I've sorted this through the categories that we get to play through Hope Wanted 2. Those are the backstage, the Fazcade, staff only, food prep, ticket booth, sister location, and then a miscellaneous category. And that category features achievements in the hub, the endings, collecting everything in the game. But now that you know how the video is structured, let's not waste any more time because there's a lot of achievements to get. Starting off with backstage, our first category. Inside of the arts and crafts minigame featuring the daycare attendant, off to your right hand side, you're going to spot a can of glue. You're going to want to pick that up and eat it. That's going to give you the you are what you eat achievement. Next up, let's go to the staff makeover minigame. Game. And to get this next achievement, the Monty understudy, ignore the instructions on the monitor, get the dark green color, and apply that to both eyes, the cheeks, the lips. And this next part might take a few resets, but you need to find Monty's star glasses and his red mohawk and put them on the staff bot. And upon doing that, you'll get the Monty understudy achievement. Skipping over to the hard mode for the backstage, the nobody likes a loser achievement is pretty straightforward. All that requires is you beating the Roxanne repair mini game. It's not easy is the next achievement. For this one, you're going to want to go into the three makeup mini game. That's the staff bot makeover, the Roxy makeover, and the shattered Roxy makeover repair. And in each of those mini games, once again, take that dark green makeup and apply that to the eyes, the cheeks, the lips. And once you apply the makeup, you can back out of the mini game, so you don't necessarily have to complete it. But upon doing that to all three characters, you'll get the it's not easy achievement. Moving on now to the Fazcade, going into the Bonkabon level. I'd recommend doing this before you start the mini game, but you're going to want to reach out and smash eight light bulbs on the arcade machine. That's going to give you the lights out achievement and once again, that is eight light bulbs. You can also do this in Fazer Blast if you want by shooting the light bulbs on the sign. But sticking with Bonkabon on round one, if you only hit Helpy, that's going to give you the snap achievement. So basically, do the opposite of what the minigame wants you to do. Ignore Bonbon, bon, ignore Bonnet, only hit Helpy when he shows up. The final achievement for Bonkabon is seeing red. To get this achievement, you have to complete all three rounds of Bonkabon by only using one mallet. To make this easy, I recommend just holding only one of your controllers, throw the other one, well, don't throw it aside, but you know, put it off to the side so you're not using it. Take your time, get as many points as you can in the earlier rounds. That's really going to help you out in those later rounds. And once you've beaten all three rounds using only one mallet, one hand, that's going to give you that achievement. Moving on now to Fazer Blast in the Fazcade section. If you constantly keep shooting with the Fazer Blast and throwing balls at Carney, he's going to eventually get pretty fed up with you. That's going to get you the Heckle the Heckler achievement. There are a few bonus requirements for this achievement. Number one, the game has to start. So once you shoot those initial targets to start up the mini game, that's when you can get this achievement. And I've also learned that this worked better in later nights where you have both the balls and the Fazer Blast that you can use against Carney. Speaking of balls, next up we've got the Bullseye achievement. This one's pretty straightforward. All you gotta do is hit 20 targets with your ball. Don't worry if you don't get 20 targets in one Fazer Blast minigame. This just applies for your total playtime in the Fazer Blast section. So as long as you eventually hit 20 targets and you're a sharpshooter, you'll get the Bullseye achievement. They Had It Coming is the next achievement, and this one's pretty similar to Bullseye, though this time you have to shoot the plush babies. You have to hit 20 five plush baby, so this one's definitely going to take a few games of Fazer Blast to get. Finally, for the Fazcade, we've got Gobble Gobble. Now, this one's pretty tough. This achievement's going to be found in the Bonnie Bowl minigame, and to get it, you gotta bowl a turkey, which in bowling terms means you have to get three strikes in a row. Bowling's already pretty tough, but doing it in VR is definitely a bit of a struggle. My advice is just take your time, try and keep your line of sight straight. I honestly found throwing the ball, or at least bowling pretty quickly when you throw your hand. The best way to guarantee a straight line down the middle. So don't worry if this one takes you a bit of time. It is definitely a very tough achievement to get, but also it feels good once you get that turkey. Moving on now to staff only. Our first achievement here is going to be taking candy from a baby, which you can get in any of the first aid minigame. And after fixing up Helpy three times when the carnival nurse says to give Helpy a candy, you can actually take one for yourself and eat it. This will give you the taking candy from a baby achievement, though be warned, Helpy will start crying when you do this. So if you're on some of those harder nights with Lefty or Scrap Baby, definitely have the gas mask ready because they will come a-crawling. Sticking with first aid, let's now move on to the you never know until you try it achievement. Once you get a task that requires you to take apart or disassemble Helpy in some way, if you take that part of Helpy and throw it at either Pig Patch or Scrap Baby or Lefty, anyone in the vent, that's going to give you that you never know until you try it achievement. This one might take a few resets of the first aid minigame because the tasks you get to fix up Helpy are completely random. And speaking 
you have random mini games, health and safety requires you to do every single task to fix up our boy Helpy. There's really no way around this, just keep on playing those first aid mini games. Eventually, you'll go through all the tasks. Next up, we got the Fizzy Fast section of mini games, and this is where it starts to get pretty tough. The bonus revenue achievement is very easy to do on night one of Fizzy Fast, however. All this requires you to do is complete the night without wasting any ingredients, without sending any cups to the trash. Like I said, I very much recommend doing this on night one. That's where things are very simple. The ingredients are very straightforward. It's very difficult to waste ingredients, if I'm being honest. Everyone's favorite boss is up next, and that's going to be you pretty soon. In any of the Fizzy Faz mini games, you got to give each ingredient bot a break by pressing the pause button. Once again, this is an achievement that you'll likely get just playing through the games normally, especially on those later Fizzy Faz nights where everything's super chaotic and everyone needs a break. The last achievement in Fizzy Faz is the graveyard shift achievement. Grab your cup and fill it with every single ingredient except for salt. Instead, in front of you on your desk is going to be a Soderoni can. Take that, pour that into the mix, and that's going to give you that graveyard shift achievement. This is most likely going to be done on later nights as well, especially because it's pretty much required to get the secret ending here in Help Wanted 2. But moving on now to the food prep mini games. Starting off in L Chips, take out your sauce gun, and instead of shooting your ingredients onto the food, instead, shoot it onto the faces of your customers. That's going to give you the food fight achievement. The five second roll achievement is up next, and you can probably guess what this one wants you to do. In any of the food prep mini games, if you drop something on the floor and then casually just give it back to the customer, it's as if nothing happens. Apparently, they don't mind eating food that was on the floor. Lastly, for food prep, that's right, there's only three in food prep. Go into any of the mini games and then just start repeatedly stuffing your face with the infinite food. I personally picked the beans and L chips. Might not be the best idea looking back on it, but after admittedly quite a long time of just eating infinite food, you're going to get the all you can eat achievement. And if you thought only three achievements in food prep was bad, Ticket Booth only has two. First up, let's take a trip on Foxy's log ride. Throughout the ride, you're going to spot three healthy signs. And if you shoot them with your gun, they're going to point in the opposite direction as you first saw them in. They'll then take you on an alternate path in the log ride. That's going to give you the splash zone achievement. And moving on now to hard mode in the Cinder Carousel minigame. There's going to be pumpkins around the center of the carousel, most notably one off to your right. That is the closest pumpkin and the easiest to pick up. So once you got the pumpkin in your hand, just chuck it at the face of the Jacko Moon. That's going to give you the Harvest Moon achievement. Moving on now to sister location starting off in Ballora's gallery. As you're making your way through the gallery, Minorinos are going to show up in front of your face. It seems like most players just move out of the way of the Minorinos and they don't know that you can actually pick them up. And actually, if you do that and then chuck them across the room, that's going to give you the achievement Tiny Dancer. And it's also just a much easier way to traverse Ballora's gallery. So if you didn't know you can chuck them out of your way, you do now. Moving on to the Breaker Room minigame with Funtime Freddy. In this level, you're encouraged to use the megaphone on Funtime Freddy to lure him back to a stage. But for the boop achievement, you actually don't want to use it for a little bit. Let Funtime Freddy get close to you. Eventually, when he gets too close, there's going to be an animation of him leaning towards you. Reach out and boop Funtime Freddy's nose. That's how you get that achievement. Oh, and also, immediately after you do that, run to grab the megaphone and use it because he will kill you in that instance if you don't. Lastly, for sister location, the Cupcake Keepaway achievement can be accessed in Funtime Gang. This achievement requires you to never give Mr. Cupcake to Funtime Chica. When you enter the minigame, the cupcake is going to be on your left hand side, which means Chica on your cameras is going to be coming from the left side of the map. When she gets too close in your hallway on the left hand side of the map, move the cupcake over to the right hand side of your desk. Chica is going to back away, make her way all across the map, and then approach from the right hand side now, and then rinse and repeat. If Chica is getting too close on the right hand side, move the cupcake over to the left. To get the achievement, just keep up this pattern until 6am rolls around. And also, don't forget about Funtime Freddy and Funtime Foxy, because they are, of course, still in play during this minigame. Moving on now to some miscellaneous achievements. You can get these in the hub, in endings, getting all the collectibles. For the Your Time to Shine achievement, let's start off in the hub. Off to your left, you're gonna spot the brand new character of Mystic Hippo. Teleport over and press the red button on the front of her booth. That's gonna give you the achievement, though there is also another mini game, if you want to call it that, that you can do with Mystic Hippo. It is exclusive to PlayStation VR 2, and it's kind of really just a tech demo for the eye tracking systems of the headset. She'll make you look at a card, and then she'll show you the card that you were looking at and then you're like yeah of course that's my card i was looking at it for 15 seconds the liability risk achievement is one that you'll again most likely get throughout playing the entire game all you have to do is get jump scared after failing to complete any mini game open your eyes is another achievement you'll get just by playing the game normally eventually after you keep completing mini games you'll gain access to the faz wrench grab a hold of your faz wrench go over to the right hand side with the locked door shove the faz wrench into the puzzle panel complete the puzzle that's going to open that locked door now inside you'll find the princess quest 
for arcade machine and right next to it there's gonna be an ar inhibitor grab the handle pull it all the way down put your hand up to your head remove your mask with the trigger button that's gonna give you the open your eyes achievement and that's also gonna give you access to hard mode ggy is up next the description states beat all high scores but a lot of people are just gonna get this achievement again as you play through the game as i was getting footage for this video i got the achievement after beating foxy's log ride batteries not included is gonna require you to open up all of the faz force toys so throughout your time playing the game on the show stage in front of you you're gonna find a prize box finding that open you're gonna find one out of six faz force toys put the figure on the stands to your left and then keep completing mini games or if you've already completed all of them just keep resetting the hub they're gonna refresh and once you've collected all six of the figures freddy bonnie chica foxy golden freddy and the puppet they're all gonna merge into one a giant prize box appears on the show stage you're gonna want to unbox that that's gonna give you the main ending to help wanted 2 and after you watch the cutscenes and go through the credits then you'll get the batteries not included achievement the remember germy achievement has a lot of steps so throughout your time playing the game mystic hippo is going to awake and give you a message and with each message a brand new graffiti is going to show up somewhere in the hub the messages include a graffiti of Ballora, the phaser blast rocket ship surrounded by tentacles a message that spells out tilt bonkabon backwards healthy with blue stars around him four chica heads going into a trash can and a soderoni can in a graveyard each of these hints is going to bring you back to a mini game so with Ballora, if you go back to the puppet master mini game in sister location the drawer in your desk off your left is going to open up if you type in the numbers one nine eight three that's going to give you one of the dolls and that will give you the remembered germy achievement though you'll get the achievement anytime you collect a doll but now let's keep getting these memories to get the next achievement consequences the consequences achievement you get after collecting all the dolls getting the secret ending so let's go through how do you get all of the dolls well i just explained one the blora graffiti go into the puppet master mini game type in 1983 in that drawer panel next let's get the soderoni in the graveyard achievement for this you have to go to night three specifically of fizzy faz fill up your cup with every ingredient besides salt and pour in that soderoni drink that's on your desk next you're going to want to put the place in lockdown put the cup in the depositor and then send it on its way and that's how you get another one of the dolls for the bonkabon graffiti go into the hard mode for bonkabon and once you get to the fourth bonus round there's going to be a tilt message on the screen that'll open up the arcade machine and you're going to get four numbers you have to put in order though just like the graffiti put these numbers in reverse and that is how you get another one of the dolls for the chica bin graffiti in the kitchen go into the fazbear theater and collect all four of chica's food items this includes the chica chug the chica chuggy the chica lemon bar and the chica chowder down to your left there's gonna be a trash bin throw all four of those items into the bin and that's how you get the chica doll for the helpy graffiti with the blue stars go into foxy's pirate ride and the first time you see helpy shoot him so you take that first alternate path stay on the lookout on that alternate path you're going to find a faded blue star shoot that star it's going to light up eventually you're going to find the second helpy sign shoot that once again so you take another alternate path rinse and repeat look at my footage you can see exactly where the faded star is that you have to shoot once you've shot that star move on now to the third and final helpy sign this one's going to go by very quick over your head quite literally so don't miss it and once you get to that straight shot in the third and final alternate path that blue star is going to be off to your right so once you've gone through all three of the alternate paths you've made sure you've shot the three blue stars once you reach the end there's a fourth and final blue star on the center of the cake shoot that and that is finally going to take you to the foxy doll lastly the rocket with the puppet tentacles this one is very complex even more so than the foxy log ride so i saved this one for last for this one go into the very first phaser blast level and about midway through the level when you start to see the head of lol's hacks and the glam rock animatronics are floating by in space keep an eye on the left side of the shooting gallery because a rocket is gonna fly from the left hand side to the right and it's gonna fly super fast but you gotta hit it with your phaser gun when you hit it it's going to fly around it's going to fly out of the gallery and knock down a board near dreadbear once you've done that move on to the second phaser blast game this is the one with the western theme and that section where you're on the train there's gonna be white targets you can shoot with your phaser blaster to open up the curtains on the train and also throw some balls to knock down those targets because they are going to get in your way a lot in this game keep an eye out for the rocket in this section once again it's going to go from the left hand side to the right it's going to appear behind the train once you do hit it it's going to knock down a hay bale above you it's going to fall in front of your face once that is done move on now to the fnaf 1 themed phaser blast game when you're in the office section fending off against the fnaf 1 animatronic the rocket shows up for a third and final time it's going to fly from the bottom of the screen to the top of the screen right in the middle once again throw some balls at those targets get them out of your way make sure you have the clearest 
shot possible. Once you shoot the rocket for the third time, that's going to knock down a barrel. Once you have the barrel, the hay bale, and the plank knocked down, move on now to the FNAF 2 themed Phasma Blast level. There's going to be several FNAF 2 animatronics that appear on your cameras. If you see Withered Foxy in the parts and service area, use your Phasma Blaster, shoot the camera to turn on the hallway light, and then throw the balls at the targets that make up Withered Foxy to knock him down. If you see Toy Freddy in the game area, he's going to enter your office, use the Phasma Blaster to shoot the mask button to put on your mask. There are also going to be animatronics in your left and right vent. Balloon Boy, Withered Bonnie, Toy Chica, Toy Bonnie, Mangle. When you see them on your vent camera, turn to your left, turn to your right, turn on the light. Use your dart gun to shoot the balloons that make up the characters. You don't have to get every balloon, just the majority of them. So once you've dealt with all of those characters, like I said, there's five in the vents, Withered Foxy in Parts and Service, Toy Freddy in the game area, and you've also made sure to keep the music box wound up, and you're also defending yourself against the plush babies after you've done all of that. A fire is going to start in the carnival area that is going to burn the entire place to ruin, and that will also unlock you the secret FNAF 3 themed Phaser Blast level, the final level in the entire game. In this level, not only are the plush babies back, so you gotta defend yourself against them, Springtrap is also on the loose. You gotta throw your balls at Springtrap. Those will knock down his armor and then use the darken to shoot the intestine balloons that make up him. After you've done all of that, he'll give you the final doll you need to unlock the secret ending. So now, after you've collected the Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, Golden Freddy, and Puppet doll, go over to Mystic Hippo's booth, get the glitched coin that she has in front of her, take that over to Princess Quest 4, play through it to completion. Eventually, you'll be greeted by the old man. He's gonna send you to the secret ending with Vanny. And upon watching that cutscene going through the credits, that is when you will finally get the consequences achievement. I hope it was worth it. We're actually not done with Princess Quest 4 though, because there is a secret achievement called Lost Luggage you can get in the game. Once you arrive to the gravestones with all the dolls you've collected throughout this crazy journey, light up the lanterns in this order. Chica first, then Foxy, then Freddy, fourth is Bonnie, then Golden Freddy, and lastly the Puppet. That is going to open up the floor in front of you that is going to give you the secret lost luggage achievement featuring the Bonnie mask. And our final achievement is your hire, which you should get after completing all of the mini games. Keep in mind this does include Princess Quest 4 and also that secret FNAF 3 Phaser Blast mini game that we talked about in the Consequences Achievement Guide. That's going to be the 36th achievement and if you're on PlayStation, once you get that, you're going to get the 37th achievement achievement shift complete, which you get for completing all other achievements. For some reason, it's not on Steam, which is kind of strange. I somehow forgot to mention two achievements during the initial recording, so let me cover those real quick. The picture day achievement can be obtained by capturing a photo of three endoskeletons in one flash in the endo warehouse minigame. And the hoarder achievement is granted once every prize has been obtained from the prize machine after completing any minigame. There's a total of 85 prizes, so this will definitely take you a while to grind out. I found Moon's Carousel or Freddy's Cold Storage to be the easiest and fastest minigame, so I definitely recommend speedrunning those two games to complete this achievement. But there you have it. That is all the achievements and how to unlock them in FNAF Help Wanted 2. Hopefully this guide helped if you got stuck. I wish you all the best in 100% completing this game. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you guys are enjoying Help Wanted 2. I absolutely adore the game. I'd love to know what are your thoughts on the title in the comments down below, but I will see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.